we've just spent the last week on this boat, on the good ship Carina, Constellation class Anglo-Welsh boat, very nice. We've spent a week, I have to say, it has been the perfect antidote to the difficulties of the last year. I mean, I could talk, but I think we'd better just watch the film that Mike has made. Showing show you just how marvellous it is to be back on the water. Life's better by water, ain't it just? <laughs> one, two, one, two. Ready? Yeah, go for it. It is ten past nine. Time to hang your knickers on the line, actually, isn't it? <laughs> no, don't do that. I'll start again. Right. It's nine o'clock. It's Saturday morning. And once again, we are on a boat. We set off yesterday, late. And today we are on the Shropshire Union Canal. It's a, it's a wide one, so the lock's really wide. And we set off from Bunbury. Ride a cock horse to Bunbury Square or something. Anyway, we set off from Bunbury, which is up in Cheshire, and we're heading towards Nantwich. But last night we arrived here. And if you listen, I'll, shush, I'll be quiet, you can listen. That's what... We arrived here and thought, let's go no further, let's just stop. So we had a fantastic evening. Under these trees, which are gorgeous. And we're going for a week like this. We've got nowhere to go, we've got no destination. We're just going to sort of tramp along and see what happens. So if you'd like to come along with us, it would be lovely to have your company. But what I can promise you is relaxing calmness. Because after the last lockdown we had, that's exactly what we need. All of us need. And this is the perfect place to find it. On the canal. On this lovely boat. What's it called? What's this boat called? Gar Garnia? I haven't, even, I haven't even looked at the boat's name yet. Hang on. Carina. Carina, it's called. So there you go. On the good ship Carina. Fun and frolics. And peaceful relaxation is guaranteed. But with that, I'm going to turn the engine on.
uh, just next to Nantwich, which it turns out is a really, really pretty sort of market town place. Lots of half timber. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, that's, Take that's two. one opinion. That's one, one way of looking at it. That's one way to skin a cat. Okay? Go for it. So we've had a lovely morning. Again, on this week, there is no plan. There's no destination, no ring. We haven't got to go anywhere. We're just going to biff and bimble. So today, we uh, we motored for a short bit, and we stopped at a place called Nantwich, which turns out to be very, very pretty. It's sort of a market town. And uh, we had a coffee in the square. It was just gorgeous. And then we found an awesome fishmongers and had some dressed crab. I'm telling you all this because Mike didn't film it. He was too busy eating it to film it. And now I'm going to make tea. So it's been, yeah, brilliant day so far. Wow, that's right. I usually spend my time on the back of the boat steering, but luckily. My son likes to steer. So we are now, after our lovely lunch and tea on the towpath, going to chill out the front of the boat. Very nice too. day and now we've stopped to fill the boat with water, well not the whole boat, just the water, um, and we've got a decision, we've got 12 locks, we need to stop here, we're going to do 12 locks before we have dinner, so I'm not sure what we're going to do, but either way what I do know is it's been awesome, it's just been awesome, this is why I like canal boats, one of Robin's mates came and he just popped in today for a bit to say hello, he'd never been on a canal boat before and like after five minutes he said I'm sold, that's it, I love them. It's right, it's the lifestyle, isn't it? It's the lifestyle. It's like going for a walk on a really expensive, pretty toy, but without actually doing any walking. If anything, you're walking on water, so it's like going for a walk on water. Fantastic. It looks like the hose has become a little bit loose, so I'm actually going to deal with that. So, somehow, you've ended up with the young guy's jacket and I've ended up with the old guy's cardigan. So I, I got this really cool jacket from these really nice people who, who uh, make lovely jackets and things and gear. And he says it will look better on him than on me, so we're going to do a test. Well, hang on, this is me wearing it. This is me wearing the jacket. Yeah, come on, give it here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is me wearing the jacket. <laughs> now let's see a younger man wearing the jacket. I'll put that on, I'll put that on. Yeah. It works for both of us. I think it works for both ages. I think it does actually, I agree. Gives it but, 12, gives it 12, go on. But it's better on one of us. But it's not up to me to decide who that is. Jacket share, clothes share. This is the new thing, folks, clothes sharing. You can keep your old man glasses. I like my old man glasses. <laughs> I need my old man glasses. So I can give you a stern look. Oh, damn it. I put the on them. <laughs> It's uh, seven o'clock. We have just done. We're not sure. We just were chatting about it. Twelve or fifteen locks. Do you know what? You'd think 
doing a load of locks would be like not that much fun, a bit of hard work. It was actually brilliant. We really enjoyed it. It's just great. And uh, I'm now having a glass of light ale, officer. And um, we're at the top of Oldlam, 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 Oldlam Locks. We're at the top of Oldlam Locks. It has been a superb day, superb sunset. In a minute, we're going to stop the boat for the night and we're going to have tea, have supper. But at the moment, as you can tell, the rest of the crew have had a couple of light ales, so it's all getting a bit shouty. But I said, we've finished, we've only literally got 10 feet more to go and we're done. Can you imagine a more beautiful spot? We are only sharing it with a bunch of crows. There's a bunch of crow's nests over there. And apart from that, it's just us and the sun. Oh, and a paraglider, a powered parachute with a motor on the back. That's what it is. So we're spending the night here. Isn't that amazing? This is, this is why I love narrowboats. Well, one of the many reasons I love. I should do a thing one day. The many reasons why I love narrowboats. Let me make it the top six. This is definitely one of them. You can stop when the sun is shining on a sort of, there's no one around. Although there is a little bakery store about 100 feet back there and we're going to examine with cakes. You leave money in a box and you can take away cakes, which sounds to me, uh, I, want to, I want to live in this world forever, don't you? The <laughs> canal world where you can stop here and then go back and buy cakes from, the, from an empty shed. So there you go. Right, end of day one, so far, ka-ching. It's gold, just sheer gold. Someone's drunk on me beer. Who's drunk on me blood? Robin has. Robin has drunk on my beer. I don't want to. I don't want to tell tales out of school, but I had a full bottle of beer about three locks back. I've had, as you saw, I filmed it. I had like a tiny sip that big, and then the rest of the bottle has evaporated into Robin's mouth. Oh. <laughs> But I've still got the jacket, he hasn't nicked it this time. <laughs> He'll get it next time. Right, before I finish, I'm gonna grease the nipple and I'm done. So that one before. So we've had a really nice night in a really comfy place with no neighbours apart from the birds and it was we had a fantastic night's sleep all of us agreed it was just perfect so here you go we're going to set off for another day's exploring today we're heading towards market drayton that's the plan market drayton to see if we can turn around and come back this way maybe even spend tonight back here again or if we find somewhere better we'll go there either way i'll tell you what okay right here's what you notice if you stand there Life's good, it's nice. But if you get on a boat, it's even better. Look, I can't help it. Once you get on the boat, you start smiling. Life is indeed marvellous when you're on the back of a boat. Actually, I should say, we've been on this boat now two days and the canal has been glorious. I mean, so has the weather been, that always helps. The canal has been fantastic for the last two days, so I can thoroughly recommend this neck of the woods, starting where we did, Bunbury Wharf, and just sort of go down the Shroppy. It's very nice so far. <clears throat> Let's see what the day brings. Hey, Foggy. Where are you going to go, Fogs? <clears throat> After the last year, which was not the most relaxing for anyone, I'm sure, I have to say, 
this is the best possible alternative to that. I can't stress it enough. I feel like I'm a traveling, a traveling salesman for narrowboat holidays, but seriously, they are awesome. They are epic. And I can thoroughly recommend them. Mind you, having said that, I don't want everyone to go on because then there'll be no boats left for me to go on. So <laughs> don't tell your friends, but quietly, I'm telling you, just you, okay, this is between you and me. Narrowboat holidays are pretty damn awesome. I would go so far as to say, yeah, they're some of the best holidays I've ever had in my life. So there you go. Ah! Oh. But there is a problem in Narrowboat holidays, and that is children. In my case, He's a he's a thirty something year old bloke. <sighs> what can I do? Poor Foggy. Just wants to be friends with everyone, don't you, darling? Just want to be friends with everyone, don't you? So, are we filming, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Right, so, um, we are now in Market Drayton. Market Drayton's just over there. And we just, we turn the boat around, we just turn the boat, and we're gonna head back towards the, where we pick the boat up. And then we're gonna turn off right, we think, and go for a little sort of detour. But the main thing is, we've been to Market Drayton, and I tell you what, the nicest thing of all, we spent the morning on the boat, which was glorious, had a fantastic breakfast, lovely Levensies, and then we stopped and went into town and we found a pub. Uh, and we sat in the garden and had a dinner and a couple of pints. And fog is our night old time. It's funny, by the end of the day, it's like all the dogs when they come on these canal boat holidays, by the end of the day, he is absolutely cream crackered. He just, he just sits on your feet or on your chair literally snuggled in saying, don't make me move. Last night we had some stuff for him and we had to literally hand feed him because he couldn't be bothered to get off the chair and eat it. I've got a watch. We're also filling up with water at the far end, so I need to be prepared to turn it off. It's not a stress, but I do need to keep an eye on it. So if you excuse me, I'm just going to look at the end. Give me land, lots of land under starry skies above. Don't fence me in. Let me ride through the wide open country that I love Don't fence me in I want to be by myself in the evening breeze Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees Send me off forever but I ask you please Don't fence me in, just turn me loose Let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western sky on my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. A useful trick. The wine wasn't cool enough, so we put ice cubes in it. There you see, you haven't got to live like a, you haven't got to live like an animal on the on the canals. You can live like a civilized human being. By the way, I say that. I put sun cream on today, so if I look at my face, it's okay. Mike holding the camera, literally his face is glowing like the brightest beetroot you've ever seen. And we're going to have a barbecue in a minute. Honestly, I can't begin to tell you. This is the end of day two. Uh, and it's been pretty good so far. So there you go. Beautiful views as well. Look, we have some nice views tonight. And tomorrow morning when we wake up, this is what we'll see.
Mr. and Mrs. Swan are in the field. They had a bit of a conversation with Foggy. Foggy very wisely decided to um, go and sulk somewhere else very quickly. Uh, and then we put one to leave for a bit. And there you go, it's all good. Cheers. Just set off. Last night we stopped at a fantastic barbecue. Did you feel the barbecue at all? Oh yeah, so you might, might see that even at a barbecue. A fantastic night with nothing but cows to keep us company in the fields. And this morning we got to do a whole load of logs to get back to Nantwich. And thankfully, you won't have seen this bit, I just ran aground. It wasn't my fault, Your Honour. It was Robin, he made me drop off at the back of the boat, not the front, so we had a bit of a Suez Canal moment. Apart from that, the most important thing, there's a, there's a stall there that sells cakes. So we're about to, whilst the lock is emptying, we're going to go and get ourselves some cakes. got rid of all the barbecue from rubbish from last night which was awesome uh, well done CRT for all your bin things putting all the bins up it's really helpful that and uh, we've just had lunch on the back of the boat basically I'm just trying to show off how sunny it's been today it's been amazingly sunny we ate on the back of the boat Mike didn't film it because he was so busy enjoying it he forgot <sighs> it's not easy but um, there you go, and today is probably one of the last logs of the day. It's not even three o'clock. So there you go, life's a good one. Life's very sweet. I don't want to be put in the same world group as Mike. <laughs> oh, I mean, again, no disrespect, but there are... Yeah, non-taking stuff. No disrespect. <laughs> but I just think it's I'm a bit... I'm about to say something quite offensive. I'm about to say, yeah, no, that's what I mean, exactly. I mean, where it comes from, I mean, you say no disrespect, no, no, no dad. No disrespect, dad, but... So all I'm saying is, right, are we filming now? We are filming. Well, good, there's been some discussion. Mike earlier, we discovered Mike couldn't be trusted with either steering the boat or handling foggy on a lead. So uh, I'm back in control, but you may notice if you've been watching this film. We can all breathe a sigh of relief. Stand back in control. <laughs> we can, I think, hang on, I, I mean, you know what? That's the sound of the crew relaxing, laughing As with joy. Swerves towards a bunch uh, of once again, boats. Captain <laughs> Cullimore. Exactly. You cheeky monkeys, honestly. If I'm not in control, it's a disaster. The minute I'm back here doing this, foggy and me, it's all good. Anyway, what I was going to say was, you may notice that it is, it's that time of night. We're almost about to pull up. We're allowed, allow myself one quick little sniff of fizz, and then we're going to stop and finish the bottle. But for the moment, the most important thing for me is that the sun's going down and I've lost my jacket. I wonder where my lovely new jacket could possibly be. Hmm, that's a mystery, isn't it? 
touch anything. Just stand back. Just stand back and don't touch anything. This code is literally don't touch. Out. Literally don't touch. So at this point, I think Dad should rescue the situation. Ah! I just say that I would, I would have taken a different path. That would be the 21st century. That train was the 21st century whistling on by. And this, this is a canal boat, which is basically the 18th century. And I, I love it for it. So we have just enjoyed, we, we moored up and we had cocktails on the towpath. What's it called? A Frisco? Pisco South. Pisco South. Very nice. And uh, we're about to have supper. And it has been yet another day in paradise. I, I could go on. But basically, if you have been anything like me, 2020 was a bit of a... bit of a wet stinky. And this is like an antidote to that. It's perfect. Anyway, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have to watch the sunset, which is glorious. What's this? Yeah, I can hear a horse. I don't know if the mic will pick it up, but there's a... There's a horse trotting slowly up the lane. It's also come along this way. And hello, and foggy too. Come on, guys. We've all come to enjoy the beautiful sunset. You see? worth going through all the unpleasantness to get to this. <laughs>